Hey, it's Jeremy here, Technical Marketing with Cisco Systems. And today I want to do just a quick demo of the NetConf API on Cisco Catalyst iOS XE um, using, uh, using the PoE settings here to uh, turn on and off the power programmatically uh, to some switch ports. So just had a really high level of the programmatic uh, interfaces and features and options on iOS XE. Um, today, we're looking at the top right, the device configuration. So when we're in a day one, when we're operating the device and we want to operate it better, we want to make some changes to turn on and off BOE or make some other changes. Now, talking about the programmatic um, interfaces that are available on iOS XE, um, today we're going to be using the NetConf API. So we can accomplish the same thing um, of managing PoE using RESTConf or GNMI. Uh, any of the programmatic interfaces, you know, we can do this using CLI, maybe with SNMP, maybe we can do this on the web UI. But on the programmatic interfaces, today we're going to use NetConf, and there's a data model uh, that we're going to look at, uh, one of the Cisco native data models um, that deals with configuration. So we're going to deal with, uh, we're going to modify the configuration using the Cisco native data model, specifically for the interfaces, right? We're going to turn on and off PoE power against the interfaces on the device. So if we go back uh, over here to the console, let me just clear my screen. I have a couple uh, files and scripts here already on the top. Uh, this is just in my Linux Ubuntu host. And then at the bottom, I have the, the 9300 down here. So if I do a uh, show power inline, we can see that um, oops, there should be a couple APs on here. And we see like three or four APs on you know port 3, 11, 12, all these various ports. Now I have a script here called disable.sh and disable.xml and then the accompanying enable uh, components here. So if I take a look at this disable script, what's it's going to do here? It's going to use the netconf console, connect to my uh, 9300 switch over here on port 830. Port 830 is the, the default netconf port. So if I do a show run and I include the netconf, we should see um, that the netconf interface is enabled. So we'll be able to connect on port 830 um, and we're going to make an edit config against this API and we're going to send this disable.xml and we'll take a look at what this disable XML looks like uh, and then we also just specify you know which device and how we're going to authenticate to it. So if I take a look at the disable.xml it's basically a bunch of lines here of XML that specifies the interfaces that we're working with here. In this case I just have a list of all the interfaces on the device, a static list. And here's the XML um, that we're going to uh, modify here. It's basically saying that we're modifying the power setting within this Yang data model, this iOS XE power data model. And the configuration flag that we're setting or changing here is uh, we're going to set the flag inline to be never. So what this is going to do is this is going to remove PoE power to the port when we apply it. So let's run this disable script. What's going to happen here is it's going to connect to the device, and that's uh, where we see the authentication successful. We see that we actually logged in, and it sends this XML payload. So what we can do, we can actually see here, is that uh, all of these interfaces change state to down. Right. So if we go here and take a look at the uh, power settings now, we can see there's none, right? Because we just sent this uh, XML payload that effectively turned the power off on all of these switch ports that we specified, every single switch port. So um, we can do the opposite now. So now all the APs, all the PoE has been uh, disabled. Uh, we can go and uh, re-enable this now. So let's just go take a look at what the payload looks like. Here's the uh, enable payload, very similar to the, the dis disable where we specify all of the interfaces. Again, it's just a static list of every interface on here. And then same thing, we're looking at the iOS XE power data model. And this time, instead of saying never, we want to say auto, right? We want the power to be automatically applied to the switch port. Same thing with the script. We can just copy and paste this, netconf console. It's going to send the enable XML, right? And that's what we were just looking at here. And as soon as we send that, we see some uh, log messages from the device saying, yep, OK, power has been granted because you've just enabled PoE on all of these different switch ports here. So all these APs should be coming up. If we do a show power inline, we should see, yep, we're getting power applied on these uh, three or four different interfaces now. So that's just a really quick demo of using the NetConf API to programmatically go in and, and remove power and reapply power to devices uh, when we need to.
Obviously, uh, running this manually is not the desired way. It's pretty easy to extend this using some automation, either like a scheduler based off time or whatever the requirements are to meet the use case. So hopefully this video has been useful. Just a really quick glimpse into the iOS XE NetConf API. Thank you.